Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra's Plays I Can Fly game! Hey, guess what? Um, I was doing a whole bunch of chickens and one of my random quest rewards was this thing, which is adorable. I take it off. Oh no, I'm on the ground. It's an angel ring. This is really hard to make. <laughs> it's um, a cursed lasso with a ghast in it, a golden lasso with a bat in it, a ring of the flying squid is already kind of difficult to make because it needs even more stuff, a couple of diamonds. This thing as well. There's a lot of components involved in this, and I just got one for free for completing the quest, of which I've, I've even got a couple more. Look, I've made a red chicken. Random reward. A builder. Uh, could be useful in the future. I made a yellow chicken because... Oh, I've got another birthday pickup. An item.birthday pickup's that name, as we like. The best. And a simple sag mill. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use that very much. Um... You can also grow a chicken out of mystical agriculture, which is nice. But one of these chickens that I made <clears throat> gave me an angel ring. Now, an angel ring is from Extra Utilities 2 and uses 32 grid points to allow you to fly, which means I have basically, as long as there's some power in those machines that we turn into extra magical upgraded machines down in our basement thingy, as long as they're kicking out enough GP, which they should be, um, I can basically permanently fly in creative mode fly and I don't think I take full damage on account of how I've taken my boots off <clears throat> So we can get some better armor and we can fly around a whole bunch which means there's a lot more uh, options for the shape of our base because We're not constrained to living on the ground anymore. I have done an extra couple of things um, Over here where the glitches all exist This is where I am now storing all of the things that were already here anyway So I, I have moved some things out of the stacks which I can still jump to Things aren't useless. Uh, I've put some more things in the stacks, and this pattern will continue a little bit over here. But if you recall, I uh, learned that the um, draw controller here, the way the draws work is actually a, a radius around this thing, not a maximum number of draws attached to that thing. So if I put more draws closer to this draw controller, I can have more things in the stacks. Whereas all those things over there are not reached by the draw controller and don't count. So I've moved a lot of things around, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? I did it off camera and I didn't even record it because it was going to be really boring because what we actually did was fill up the chickens. <clears throat> I've made uh, several chickens. There's a log chicken. There is a lapis chicken. Um, I think it tells you log chicken, lapis. The, the grey and the blue ones, these are all just producing uh, dyes. Okay. Um, and you can see how fast they're going. You know, it's, it doesn't take very long at all to produce three so uh, <laughs> the reason the stacks was a big deal at this point is that these are already full that one's not and that one's not why are you not full oh i don't think i've been making those actually hmm uh you are dandelion yellow <clears throat> i didn't put all my chickens in roosts because the actual um <laughs> the actual limitation is the amount of wheat that we're growing right now it takes several pieces of wheat to produce Oh, I can make some more to produce a roost because you have to in order to make a roost roost um, I took this away by the way we'll talk about that in a minute in order to produce one we need three of those in order to make those excuse me uh, you need nine of these so you can only make so many before you run out of wheat if your wheat isn't going too fast um, there's no speed upgrade as far as I can tell for these I think we discussed that I think the person who made industrial floor going said no there will never be a speed upgrade but what we can do is we can put a fertilizer in which will increase the speed that this grows uh, which is basically the speed of, I mean the speed of this is irrelevant it's the speed of these that's important and these uh, growth crystals are kind of okay not really doing it for us anymore because we want sort of a, a greater uh, input of these because if I show you down here. I still need to do this basement, by the way. I'll do that off camera. Probably in a Zen Minecraft thingy. This is not full yet, which is a big deal. So hmm. I, I'm bothered by this UI because I can't lock this. It's locked now, right? So I can't do this anymore, right? Excuse me. Go back. Uh, but hmm. <laughs> I can fly as a bat, by the way. Uh, I, I can't put something in that corner without redoing the whole thing. By the way, we accidentally got 26 Certus Quartz seeds because I just left this going. And this is now full of rich fighter grow. The reason that's full of rich fighter grow is that log chicken that we made a while ago, that I, or I made off camera, is producing endless um, amounts of wood. You know, in that amount of time, it produces three wood, which kind of invalidates this. However, it does only produce uh, oak wood. I don't think you can get a different type of log, wood, uh, log chicken, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to come over here while I think about it, and I'm going to pop down here, and I'm going to take all this. You can see the stuff still in my inventory from last time, and when I was off camera doing stuff. Oh, 
So I'm going to put this one on top of the same place as the other two. And I can fly so much now that I don't even need to worry about. The only thing I can't do right now is uh, shift click something. And uh, I mean, I can actually, but it's more difficult. Um, I, I made these roosts for a reason. I use about uh, a time in a bottle. I use about four or five hours worth of time in a bottle um, to to grow these chickens because it's an extremely and exceedingly boring and laborious process. So uh, I'd be glad that you weren't here for that. You can press uh, shift and space at the same time and then do the thing. It does work. I don't want to be a bat because it's scary. Um, the way you make chickens is you put two in there. This is exporting. Be gone. This is exporting seeds, and this fills up with seeds, and it takes one seed to breed two chickens together. If you take two chickens of any type, uh, you get a random chance of... It's sort of a 50-50 chance of getting one of those two types. However, if they do breed together, there is a chance, obviously not 50-50-50, but there is a chance that you get the type that it will breed together. But then that thing you breed together, you then have to breed two of, and then you breed them up to this 10, 10, 10. So now we've got three stats. Growth 10, gain strength 10, strength 10. I don't really know what strength means, but basically uh, the growth one determines how fast you get a new one. And this is really slow to begin with and quite quickly, uh, it does ramp up, especially if you've got time in a bottle. So I use a large amount of my time in a bottle to make those chickens grow. And I want to put my red and yellow chicken in. I mean, I'll probably show you. I'll put this red chicken in here. I have but one. Uh, if you... Grow it with uh, this should work. So this is how fast they grow normally when you have a very basic chicken. This is a not even a, a very good red chicken, right? We speed it up. This is how long it would take. This has a 50-50 chance of giving me a red chicken, I believe. Uh, and once I've got a second red chicken, they're guaranteed red chickens in future. Once you get red chickens, not a red chicken. <laughs> once you get red chickens, you start getting them. Um, you start improving their stats, so each time you make one, you'll get better stats. You're not allowed to be here, so go away. Put this in. All of this can go away. I want to put the yellow chickens in the box. Sag mill. And, and that. We have another chicken. We have a red chicken, so if I put these two in here, this will go mm, okay speed. We're going to open this loot box. We throw away everything that's inside it. Yes. And then, uh, so these can go in here. So these are producing dandelion yellow. You can go back in there, I don't need you. And you, I don't need at all. As long as you have 16, then that's the fastest that they will produce. Uh, so yeah, that got growth too, etc. So you see how these two have no stats. This one has some stats. And basically, I've been doing this, and this is going to speed up as these get better, as that growth stat gets better. That's, I thought that was going to go away, just as I looked. I got growth too. So this art thingy here will speed up and every time you get one of these the stats are basically guaranteed to be better i believe i'm gonna run out of seeds which is an issue right uh but eventually you get a, a 10 10 10 chicken and then once i've got 16 of these i mean it doesn't take very long once you've started the, the ball rolling like this and if i just sort of talk over the top of this enough and keep you interested you will quickly notice that i actually can't keep up with this right? and that has run out but I actually didn't end up using the time in the bottle as prodigiously as I could have because I couldn't keep up with the thing. By the time I'd pulled one across like this, that thing had filled up. So there's a 10, 10, 10. So we need one more 10, 10, 10. There we go. And now we can just let this... We ran out of seeds. See? Go in there. I think you need two seeds then. Maybe that's the thing. Uh, so what I was doing for that... Was I was going over here, I've taught the machine how to make bone meal. I could have made that journey much faster in many ways. Uh, and the bone meal is made by um, pulverizing bones. That's one way of doing it anyway. Um, and that gets you way more from a bone meal than just crafting it. We have so many bones from the mob farm that it really doesn't matter how I make the bone meal in the first place. But I can just ask it for a bunch more bone meal if necessary. Um, Hopefully this should be enough to produce all the chimkin that we want. So this is fast. So now that I've got flight, I honestly really think that we should um, probably invest in, uh, invest some time in moving all the ceilings a little bit higher. The reason for that is I keep hitting my head. 
So as you do this, you see, it's, it's just ludicrous how fast it is. That's 13, that'll do. Um, I'll breed these up when I want some more. Right, I can delete the rest. All of you be gone. And I know it's probably cruel to chickens to do that, but, uh, excuse me, but this is Minecraft and also the uh, always active green. So the other thing I did, was, as you noticed, I removed that roost collector. The speed at which these things produce is outrageous. But you are not being drawn out either. Um, and the roost collector is very, very slow indeed. It barely keeps up with just like maybe two chickens in here. <clears throat> all of these were full when I had the roost collector in the middle and the thing pulling out there. So what I did was I put all these to pull out the back instead. And that is filling this up very quick rate indeed. And we're getting so many resources. It's not even funny. Apart from the fact I'm laughing. So I guess it's kind of funny. Um, so we've got... I've had to put void upgrades on so many things. Redstone's got a long way to go. Did I put a void upgrade on you yet? No, I didn't, but maybe I should. Because that's going to start overflowing. Void. Do -do -do. Put a void upgrade on there. Ah, because I've not got a redstone chicken yet. Uh, this has got a void upgrade and... Oh, it's got a... Just a void upgrade. That's not a void upgrade. Stack upgrade. 64 times 2. I've got times 2 on that. Uh, I've got times four on this because it's getting pretty full and you can see that's got a void upgrade. Some of the rendering isn't quite working correctly, so just, uh, just deal with it, okay? Uh, but one, the one thing I'm happy with is that we've got so much glowstone coming in because I wanted to breed up a glowstone chicken because if you remember, glowstone has been a bit of a bother for some of our machines that we wanted to make, uh, which means now I'm kind of at a bit of a loss what to do because chickens is something that I can do sort of off camera. Fill up this, there's a lot of them to make if we have a look at this. Um, but the ones we kind of really want to focus on, we, we wouldn't mind a, a, a supply of gold. We wouldn't mind a supply of diamonds, to be honest. Enderpearls, maybe. Nether warts, cocoa brown. We could probably make... That looks like an entry point, you know? Uh, slime, don't care, blood. Don't know what you create. Draconium chicken and eventually awaken draconium. So this is sort of an end game sort of uh, resource. But you can see there's, there's not just these chickens. I want to make many other chickens at roost chicken. Uh, there's probably an iron chicken. There's a conductive iron chicken. There's an iron chicken. Gold chicken, bred from iron and yellow. Which, I mean, iron bred from flint and bone white. So these things are easy. And I've not been uh, producing resources from all of them. That's why I've got some in here. I don't. I don't want those. <laughs> I've got enough of those. I also um, wax a bit of time on, put my time in a bottle on the thing that's producing sand for us over there. So uh, hopefully that thing's full up as well by now. So I think I've actually organized everything as well as I would like. No, not you. Oof. That's very fast as well. That's just one acceleration card on the import bus. You can have more by all means if you want to. Uh, put that away, put that away. I moved some drawers around, emptied them out, you know whole shebang and majiggle and deal we should probably start having sort of you know roof passages right we we could have a way through here for example we could have a whole upstairs that would be grand we've already got downstairs but you know what i mean uh i would like my construction gadget please gadget where oh you're probably in the um Probably in the recharging zone. Thank you. So this thing is just going hell for leather right now. See how it's full? That's because of that log chicken. This thing producing uh, sap, sap helping... Uh, ooh, plastic. Uh, helping us with... What are you doing? Ah, you're, you're being transposed. So you are creating fighter grow. But we don't need any more fighter grow. So I'm actually full of sap, which is amazing. Uh, this thing should be producing... Is this filling up? Yes, yeah, so when that's full and this gets full, this will stop. I'm just, oh, those chickens have made such a difference. And all I did was spend a couple of hours doing them off camera, not recording. Apologies. I know you probably would have wanted me to do that. Ooh, that scared me. Uh, I've moved this around a little bit. I want to fix this because this is always filling up. It's just, just nonsense. I, I really don't care about the majority of this. We've got lava cows. We've got, you know... We've got everything here in abundance. I'll take that. Coco Brown. That's one of the uh, quests, actually. I'll take the Ender Crystal. But most of this, who cares? You know, there's there's some gold we could probably probably recover from this. I, I, I'm just not interested. 
Um, let's go to the chicken place. So there's two types of eggs. Some types of eggs fit in here. Some types of eggs fit in here. This type of egg, when you grow it, just turns into a baby chicken. The other type of egg, um, the spotty type. Can I convert this into that? No, I can throw it. But see this, this type of egg, which I can't seem to craft. This used to be one of those. I made this. And if you put an egg that works in here, it instantly grows into an adult chicken. And when you break it, the adult chicken comes out. And it just takes zero time to grow the chicken. So that seems a little bit hacks to me. But I did it. And you can't judge me because... Why do you have to make that noise? You grow and then... So what should we do? I don't really know. All right, let me show you the thing that I've been hiding for a while. Now that I can fly. Whee! Uh, I might do it here, actually. Um, depth six, left one, right. Oop. Oh. Oh. See that? Nice. Exactly what I wanted. Ha <laughs> uh, we'll Put this. Press F seven. Just double check. I did have a creeper in the stacks because I forgot to light up the top of the. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to light up the top of it all. Uh, this is my tree farm, which is not a farm at all. This is actually going to be a power room and i know what you're thinking you're crazy i am crazy that's not the reason why this is bad um i'm gonna delete a bunch of the leaves because they're kind of in the way also i did not mean to do that <laughs> now i'm stuck that. nope let me out and then undo i really just want to delete Swaths of leave like this. Should be able to do this much. Do this much. Seems okay. Nope, that got me the. Uh, very difficult to aim on account of how I have no idea what I'm doing. Fine. Hmm. Trying to make some space, and the reason for this is that there's a tree that hasn't grown yet, and it's not in this direction, so I don't really need to do that one. Uh, probably this. This. This tree here, basically, is a right pest. What? Oops. <laughs> this. So all these trees are going to be put to good use and I'm hoping that they still count as trees according to the uh, gadgets that I'm going to be using because the gadget tree that I'm going to be using extracts stuff from trees. It's going to be the, the thing we've already seen actually because we have that, um, that thing producing sap already. Oh no we don't, that's the sawmill. So it's not quite the same. These things are going to produce resin directly from trees remember when we put the um put these trees into the sawmill oh we can fix that <laughs> that's probably okay don't worry about it uh when we put these trees into the sawmill it produced resin and not sap and that made me really sad because i wanted uh, sap and not resin we want resin this time because in this scenario we are going to be creating a very convoluted and overwhelming and ridiculous way of making probably not very much power, but I think it's fun, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to go off camera a little bit right now, quiet phone, uh, and first of all, fix these trees. And secondly, I'm going to remind myself quite how to do it because I prepared it a long time ago and uh, that time has passed. So I will be back in a minute. Please go and make a cup of tea or whatever you prefer, your beverage of choice. Meanwhile, that I uh, remember what it is I'm supposed to be doing. So uh, hang on, just hold on, just stay put. Okie dokie, let me explain all the things that I have learned over here. The arboreal extractor looks like this. It's just some iron and the device frame is copper and all that sort of thing. Fine, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Arboreal extractor extracts from a tree, much like the sawmill produced stuff from chopping up a tree uh, when we told it. I think we had to put a thing in the sawmill, didn't we, to make that work. Uh, a resin funnel. So we had to... Basically, the uh, orbital extractor does what the resin funnel does, except the tree stays where it is, which is very helpful indeed. That will produce resin. Uh, yeah. 
then the fractionating still can accept the resin from arboreal extractors and turn it into a thing called rosin, which is like resin, but more like her from Fraser. Um, <clears throat> rosin is kind of useless, but it also produces, as a result, tree oil. Tree oil is a fuel that can be used to power a compression dynamo or a steam dynamo. Now, a compression dynamo generates energy, requires fluid fuel and coolant. Well, coolant can be water. That's fine. Uh, and then a steam dynamo generates energy, requires water and solid fuel. However, the compression dynamo has an upgrade called a boiler conversion. Dynamo's output will convert an applicable dynamo into a steam boiler. Increases effective fuel efficiency. So, but it produces steam instead of RF. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed the tree oil and some water into a compression dynamo with a boiler conversion. The boiler conversion will produce steam, which will go directly into the steam dynamo. <gasps> And as a result, the steam dynamo will be able to produce much more RF from the steam that we get from the compression dynamo than either the compression dynamo would on its own or the steam dynamo would on its own. And the rosin can be used as a fuel. In fact, it is basically just a fuel, which means we can have even more steam dynamos. <clears throat> Requires water and solid fuel. We can have even more of them using the excess rosin that we're not going to need. In fact, we're going to want to get rid of it uh, to produce even more power. We've also got a couple of things here that we're going to need. There's no auxiliary sieve to make more rosin, even though I said... Uh, we'll see if we overflow it. I don't know if we will or if we'll run out of rosin and we want to... Basically, want to force an excess. Uh, we've got the auxiliary section, which is processing speed. The turbine conversion is the thing we put in the steam dynamo to make it accept the steam from the compression dynamo instead of producing stone. So this will convert the thing into a boiler. This will convert the other thing into a turbine. That's a lot of things that we need to make. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, iron gear for a start. Let's make two of those. Uh, I don't know if you want me to watch me craft all of this on the camera. Which I might actually do off camera because it just occurred to me that what might be a good thing to do right now is to improve... Excuse me? Did I not just make a stone? I'm going to need a bunch of these so I'll make several. Uh, we want to improve the, um, the, the ability of our system to make things. Tin. I came across tin as a problem previously. Presumably there's a tin chicken. This is bread from bone white and clay. In fact, I can start that right now. There's uh, bone white. I think I can just make bone white. Cannot. There's a bone white chicken egg, but that's no good. Uh, the actual bone white chicken... Mm, I thought I said it was made from a snowball chicken, actually. Tin chicken. So we, we're running out of tin. That's a big deal. Uh, tin. So you're bone white and clay. This is not bread. This is bread. Snowball inside. We've got clay chicken. I think. Oh, clay chicken? Even though I have the two things necessary to do so. Snowball and sand. I have snowball and sand in great abundance right here. So you two get in there. This is filling up nicely, but that's... So watch this. The uh, clay. Okay. <laughs> and you completed the quest. There was a chance of getting sand or or, or, or bone from that. Honestly, we, we need two of them, but we can just take one of these. Eggs is going to be a problem soon, actually. Is it? Where are my eggs being kept? Yeah. Uh, not really a problem. But these things are producing eggs. A uh, fairly good rate of knots. I think it's three at a time, just like everything else. Egg. One at a time. Okay, well, that's not so much of a big deal then, is it? Where have my uh, baby chicken gone? One there. I don't want them to get hurt <laughs> or anything. I had to kill, like, 20 wolves. Okay, five. Um, what are you stuck on? Stop it. I had to kill several wolves. And I don't really want them eating my chickens, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for them spawning in that area. <sighs> okay, um, how are you doing? Make more chickens, please. I've got a load of wood. So, go away, you go away. You go away. You go away. We're gonna, I'm going to work on tin off camera. I'm going to work on... Uh, I need to get that bone white chicken, which is unfortunately another one of those where you have to... Um, tin chicken... Where you have to craft this. That's easy to craft, right? I think. 
for then you have to wait for the chicken to grow and you can force the chicken to grow uh, by uh, feeding it but then you have to make more seeds you need to be switched off Oop. I don't want you hurting <laughs> Ooh, excuse me I had a hiccup how unbecoming <clears throat> The other thing I should make, could we quickly make, I think the reason I discovered tin was a problem is that I was trying to make the industrial fertilizer here, fertilizer over there, and it wasn't going to work either because, no tin. Uh, so we want to make this chicken ASAP. So uh, pop you here, pop you here. And then I'd like you to, basically I have to decide whether I want seeds or <laughs> the chicken to grow. Um, you made another clay chicken, which is very helpful, thank you. Right, uh, you can go back in here. Whop. <laughs> the the sounds of these chickens are quite cruel. Unfortunately, I do apologize to anybody who is a chicken lover, but also I apologize. Why do you have to make that noise? Apologize because uh, why are you a chicken? Lover? Also, this is a thing. I've got a full tank of lava. If right click, I have a full hundred ten buckets of lava here. Um, this cow stall came out of the mob farm. And several of them, several of them have done so in the past as well. So uh, it's not really a surprise. Do I have more? Let's see if we've got some more. Because that is a source of. It's not in any of these accessible inventories, that's for sure. That is a source of phenylalanine, but also various fluids that I'm assuming that I can. There's, there's loads. I'm not getting any more from here, particularly, but. Um, cow can only be bred, right? But but how? These ones don't really... This, this this fluid cow thing doesn't really explain how it works. The other one I've seen done before, so... But there's only a cow stall and a cow halter. There isn't a thing here that breeds them, so maybe I just breed them like normal cows, but then I guess I can spawn it in the world, right? Let's try... Mm -hmm. Well, while we're here, why not? Right, so we get a... Uh, I've got some things over there, but I did see... Did I see a cow stall here? I think I did. Diamond wand. Eh. Got my uh, building catalyst. Building gadget. I was about my chicken egg here. How annoying. Um, I'll take those. Just out of principle at this point. Uh, and... Okay, let's, let's stop wasting time. Oh, well done for noticing that you're wasting time for the first time in your life. No, I don't need these anymore, so you don't need to be bat form. I'm grown up now and I can fly. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can put this here, basically. Uh, yeah. That'll do. Do -de do 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 do. Um, I've got a chicken egg. I'm going to grow it. Ah, this is too difficult. Just walk. Uh, and then, in here, is this where my cat? So apparently, you can just spawn these, right? So if I then go and get some wheat, which is... I'm going to pronounce it like that all the time. You're going to have to get used to it. Uh, this, please. So all our ceilings need to be increased slightly so I can fly around without keeping on back in my head. Um, that's okay. And then I, I breed you. And I, I'm aware that there are animal breeders in this pack. So I can probably put these in a pen. What did we get? Liquid blue slime. Huh. That worked quite well. It was just water and milk. Kind of gross, but okie dokie. Um, and then I presume I can use my halter. I'll pick it up when it's a baby, probably. And then these cow stalls are just a bunch of... The great concrete's been a bit of an issue, but I did breed grey chicken so I could do that. So we're kind of on our way to not only having a supply of um, resources from the chicken wall, but also fluids from the cow breeding pen area. I'm probably going to decorate this. This is very plain and boring. But thank you for watching. This has been a half hour episode and I've actually noticed. So I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope that you have appreciated me doing so much work off camera and not boring you to death with it and then boring you to death anyway with me describing the work that I did off camera which took nearly as long as the work that I did off camera in the first place. Uh, I hope you join me in the next episode when I will have prepared 
some tin chickens and all of this stuff ready for this tree area. And then I'm hoping, like yourselves, like myself, you are looking forward to seeing quite how absurd this can get. Because this can go on forever, right? We can get a lot of power out of a bunch of those. Just going to take a heck of a lot of resources. I'm, I'm pretty sure the tin chickens produce tin nuggets. So we do have to speed them up somehow. We can have more of them. That's also an option. Just a wall of tin and a wall of... Oh, that's a really good idea. Okay, I think we'll be doing that. Also, I'm going to teach my... Um, in the next episode, I'll probably be teaching this a better way of making things because what we have at the moment is kind of rough and ready. Uh, this whole place down here was supposed to be a lot more interesting than it currently is. And we've got so much Certus Quartz coming from Mystical Agriculture now that I think I can start not really worrying about the um, the, the nature, the, the, the usage of it. We're starting to not worry about resources anymore so i hope that you have enjoyed this episode I hope we join in the next one but until then thank you for watching i'm sure as usual i will see you